up, Taurus? Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to bring you your general energy update. Flip the roles as you see fit. Remember, everyone's on a different timeline. Please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. Take what you need, leave what you don't, okay? So I'm going to set my intentions real quick, and then I'm going to jump right in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to come in with you. Close the gates to anything not in alignment. Thank you for using me as the messenger, protecting me and speaking through me loud and clearly. And so it is. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here for Taurus. Show me what I need to see here for Taurus. What is Taurus's energy? The Envy card is in a reverse position. So at one point you may was dissatisfied about something or could have been some type of envy. Okay. Or someone could have envied you. But I see here that that's moving into a state of appreciation. Okay, so let's see what comes out next. Show me what I need to see. Envy card, okay. And then the goddess of the moon. So there's something here that you went within about or you should be. You may be in that energy right now, like just really trying to find some answers. Um, so usually when you, you do that, you may go into a state of meditating um, or reflecting. You may be in hermit mode. <laughs> um, but however, everything that you need is within you already. Okay. Now the door to value comes out. Oh, wow. So the doors of opportunity are getting ready to open up for you, um, Taurus. This is a new beginning, and it may have a lot to do with your money or whatever it is that you value. All right. I feel like once you've shifted your energy here to one of appreciation um, and you thought about this, you really went within here. This is what is leading you to this new beginning right now. So let me pull my tarot. We're going to see what's good, good for y'all. All right. So show me what I need to see here. Why is this envy card in the reverse? Tell me about this envy card in the reverse. Come on now. I'm going to do that again. Show me about the envy card in the reverse position. Thank you. So something you worry about. You don't get any sleep at night, okay? You may be up all night long worrying about this or some type of negative thoughts. Whatever it is here, it keeps you very anxious at night especially, right around bedtime. Nine of swords in an upright position. And what I'm seeing here with the death card here is about a lot of, it's something here has ended. And that may be what you worry about. Something's coming to an end. But what I'm seeing here is that there's a transformation. You know, it could, could somebody may have even died. This is what I'm, I'm seeing or hearing. But whatever it is, it's like some type of anxiety here around endings, okay? But I see that the sun is getting ready to shine and rise on you, all right? I got a Knight of Cups here in a reverse position. Whatever happened, it's a lot of disappointment. It could have a lot to do with a masculine energy. Um, but decisions are, yep, somebody had to walk away from something here with the Eight of Cups. And as I see that you walked away from that disappointing situation, all right, whatever may have ended, this is leading you to your new beginning because now you are in alignment with your higher purpose in life. You made this decision with the two of swords, right, to do it, which was a good decision because I feel like you was like, you know what, I can't keep wearing these blindfolds. I got to really look at this. I got to face it and I got to make a decision. But overall, you're still anxious. So with the four swords in the upright position, you're still up all night into the sun, into the, um, when the sun rises, shit, <laughs> into the wee hours in the morning, right? Still fearful, still anxious, still getting no rest. Okay. So tell me about that. Shift your, shift that energy to one of appreciation is what I'm hearing. Right. Page of swords in the reverse. That page of swords in the reverse. Always coming out. It makes you feel burdened. So let me see something here real quick. So you had this determination before, but it seems like now mm -mm, it's like that inspiration, that determination, whatever that is here, um, you, you're looking for a breakthrough or something. You were looking for a breakthrough. So let me see something. Yeah, this is like inspiration. Whatever you were planning or whatever that inspiration you had for something, now it's like you're disappointed some type of disappointing news may have came um you may have a lack of ideas okay you're keeping a lot of stuff here to yourself and it's burdening you 
with that Ten of Swords in an upright position. You may have a lot of responsibility. It's also what I'm seeing. If you're a cross watcher, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you, y'all. And if this ain't your energy, this is somebody connected to you. Show me what I need to see. What did they go within about? That's a lot of cards. I don't like when it gold lays like this because I don't know how it laid. I'm going to do it again, y'all. Show me what I need to see. What's the Goddess of the Moon card here about? Okay, Page of Cups in the reverse position. So, again, that is all about your inspiration. You or this person may have been thinking about making some type of offer or coming in here. Yep. But it's not happening at this point because my page of cups in the reverse next to this queen of cups in the reverse position. That's feminine energy coming in, right? And overall, this page of um this queen of cups in the reverse is low vibrational. So that could be karmic energy. You could be operating in that energy, being very overly emotional. That's cold. The queen of cups in reverse is very codependent, okay? Um, I'm gonna see who this is. Thank you. Okay, it's somebody here that you were you were connected to or working with. It could have been a partnership with this person, three of pentacles in a reverse position, someone you were hoping to work with. It could be third party situations, is what I'm seeing. All right, I'm also seeing like it could have something to do with money as well. Um, whatever it is, it's like you were putting like it's like, you know how you're being very de detailed or, or um, precise about whatever you are trying to create here? This is what it looks like. And overall, it's like you may have been trying to do that with that person, but I feel like you it was it was really being built on a foundation of, around money for some odd reason. But it's like whatever is happening here, you couldn't do it with them because, of course, they were operating as the Queen of Cups in the reverse. All right, you may have been inspired by that at first with that idea or whatever it is that you may have had um, to work with this person. But overall, it just seems like it keeps being some type of lack of cohesion between you two. Now, with the Page of Cups reverse, it's saying it's a block in your creativity. Yeah. It, like, it's things that you find interesting. It's projects that you find interesting, but you just, like, you don't have the motivation. And that's what I kept seeing with the Page of Cups. It's like something here. It, it doesn't, you're not feeling motivated or, or inspired in some kind of way. So it's unexpected inspiration or something. Hold on, let me see something in the reverse position. Come on, come on. Up, up, up. Yeah, this person is emotionally immature insecure or some kind of way here show me what i need to see so you have to go in go within with this situation mm -hmm. look look at this so you're clear now you're understanding everything that's happening i got my my good old queen of wands is coming out here in the reverse so with the moon um card in the reverse position it's like you were anxious you were fearful you were very unclear or uncertain but now it's like you're clear it's like you're clear. It's like, oh shit, I got some clarity about what's going on here with this situation. With the Queen of Wands, again, feminine energy coming in, low vibrational. Okay, it could be two feminine energies that you're connected to. Um, however, or your person may be connected to one fire sign, one could be um, water sign, doesn't have to be, or this could be the same goddamn person, right? This could be you, Taurus. But however, like that Queen of Wands is a vicious person. They're very demanding, very explosive. Um, person very vindictive thank you look there go that page of swords again mm. yeah you had you or this person has to go in go went within with this situation because they're realizing here it's like they're really over it they're over everything that's taking place within within this okay it's like whatever these ideas are um this passion it's like somebody wants to go after that okay and it's some type of communication that could be coming in now what i have here with the four cups in the reverse position again over it withdrawn king of pentacles in a reverse position see it's like all this low vibrational energy here Taurus. So this King of Pentacles, again, masculine energy, um, they could be operating out of greed or they may not feel good enough. 
you know, they may not feel good enough at all. They may not be offering anything serious um, as well when it comes to a, a partnership with the Two of Cups here in the upright position. So it's someone that you do have a very strong bond with is what I'm seeing. Okay, it, it's it's a lot of people in this story. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It's a lot of people coming up in this story. So I don't know what's going on in your life, Taurus. If you got some type of entanglement or what? Okay, <laughs> it's a lot of motherfuckers in this story. All right. So with the Page of Pentacles again, it's like having this idea, right? And it's still it's just the beginning because it's a page, of course. So it's that inspired like, like real like fun like oh my god i'm excited i'm determined to do this I, can, I know i can manifest this idea okay show me what i need to see here this page of pentacles what's the idea what's the page of pentacles about what's the page of pentacles Okay, so this is what's happening. So somebody doesn't want to end up being um, lack. All I see is lack, okay? Somebody doesn't want to have all these. It's like somebody feels very burdened. It's just like a, all this responsibility. It's like a heavy weight that's on you with this person's shoulder here right now. And even with the Nine of Pentacles, this will make you be very guarded. Okay, somebody may even be codependent when I see that. The Ten of Wands in an upright position, again, burden, responsibilities, doing things all by yourself, right? It's going to require hope, right? You got to be positive. You got to stay optimistic about whatever this is that's going on here in your story, all right? And this is why you're being guided to go within with this situation because you have all of these ideas here with the Ace of Wands and you're trying to achieve your goals, so you have to stay passionate about it. You have to stay determined about it. And it's going to require you to go within. Because whatever's happening here in your situation, I can definitely feel or sense that someone is heavily burdened. But they want to be able to go into this new beginning. Or you want to be able to go into this new beginning here and, and go towards what it is that you value most. So in order to do that, you got to listen to your intuition with this. Show me what I need to see with this door to value. Yes, Queen of Swords in the reverse. It's a lot of karmic energy coming in through your story, Taurus. So I don't know if this is you and, and you're connected to a karmic or a person in your life is connected to a karmic, okay? And it's involved, all of y'all caught up in this. Okay, so view this situation here with logic, clarity, being honest. Yep, look at this, all reverse cards. This masculine energy, whoever's playing a masculine energy in your story. King of Swords reverse. Take on. Look, it's a, it requires you to take action. It requires you to be a strong um, leader within this situation is what I'm seeing. You can solve this problem, but it requires you to be a strong leader. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It's going to be breaking some type of tradition. I definitely see that. Okay, so it could be somebody here that you were already building with. Um... You may feel like if you do this, it may lead to bankruptcy or financial issues, divorce, separations. You may have children with someone that break the family. I, whatever is going on here, Six of Pentacles in the reverse, it's an unfair power dynamics. And I feel like someone is ready to stop giving into a certain situation. It's like the investment isn't there anymore. Yeah, somebody's reconciled with someone from the past. Six of Cups in the upright position. Maybe you or this person is just thinking about, you know, the past happier times, happier memories that they may have had with someone else. Okay? Sun card, upright position. This is about the new beginning. This is about staying positive, staying optimistic, taking this. And that's what's going on. Because someone doesn't want to give into another situation that just seems to reek of karmic energy okay and they're making this personal transition staying positive <clears throat> five of wands it's gonna cause some conflict go within move into a state of appreciation show me what i need to see let me get some advice. I'm going to go jump to um, Archangel Michael real quick. So <clears throat> we need solutions. We need solutions. Okay. Sorry, y'all. My son went into the bathroom. He probably got his earphones on. He on the phone or something. He talking. He just totally forget that I be out here working and everything. But it's all good. Show me what I need to see. 
sense of humor. <laughs> you can help this situation by seeing the humor in it. Okay, so try to laugh at this. Try to laugh at people's behaviors. Just try to brush it off your shoulders and be like, <laughs> whatever. Whatever. You know what? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna stay in a state of joy. I'm gonna keep my joy at this point. You know, I'm not even gonna feed into that, right? Because you're trying to. You're trying to embark on a new beginning. Like a lot of this has to do with you trying to go towards your money. Like, look, I'm trying to be abundant. I'm trying to have an overflow, right? And the door is open for you. For everything that you value is what I see coming through that door. Money, um, health, love, all of that. Pay attention to your dreams because you're getting a lot of downloads in your dreams. You're probably dreaming like crazy. Okay, so write down your dreams um, and see what it is. Okay, um, pray. Ask, ask to say this. It's a prayer. It says, thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderful, restful night's sleep. Okay, so ask for the, for those of you who are losing sleep, please ask for help with this. Thank you. Anything else? Yep, you're going to have to ask for help with this situation. Okay, so like I said, ask for help. Ask for help with the situation. Ask for help to help you get some sleep here. Okay. And the angels, they will help you as soon as you ask for help. <laughs> okay. Know that you are powerful. You are not a victim here. Okay. So only focus on the solutions and not the problems that you are seeing. And keep an open mind here. It's a lot of decisions here that I feel like someone needs to make. It's time for you to make a commitment to yourself. Make the commitment to yourself, your life, your life purpose, okay? Do what you got to do for you at this point. And that's what it's calling you to do. Because like I said, it's a lot going on here in your story, Taurus. I'm I'm freaking confused. Like, who's this? Who that person? Like, what in the world is happening here, Taurus? You got some people in your life right now that need to be released. Meditate and contemplate. So it's saying the same thing. Go within. It's time for you to get still. It's time for you to really just get quiet. Put on your meditation music. I got some rocking right now in the background, right? To help ease my anxieties. Okay, but put that on. Put it on while you go to sleep, right? Because most of you got to be dreamers. You're seers. Okay, so you're going to dream like crazy when you put it on. And pay attention to what... Is coming up in your dreams upon awakening write it down anything that stands out okay anything what room were you in what were you sitting in the chair laying in the bed using the bathroom taking a shower was the water running it doesn't matter what color were you wearing who was there with you were you observing the dream or were you actually interacting in the dream like all of those things whatever stands out are um some type of sign or something you should be paying attention to don't let any pride get in your way so release the egotistical thoughts or mindsets basically you may be connected to a leo don't have to be, but don't do anything else. And take time to breathe out. This is just the time right now, but I feel like it's time for you to get some rest stars. You're missing important downloads because of the worry and the stress over this situation. And, and what I'm seeing is like, you're not satisfied, but you can be. Because hmm. I feel like the door to value is open for you, but it's still some rich, it's still some things that are holding you up. But what it feels like was holding you up is you. And look, trust me, I'm I feel like this ain't nothing to do with my story. This got to be somebody I'm connected to because <laughs> I'm a Taurus um, moon and rising, but I can definitely feel the story. If that makes sense. I definitely feel like this is someone that is connected to me in my life. And this may be the same for you. Okay. Now. Um, I want to see if there's something else I want to pull from. Mm. That's deep Taurus. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here for Taurus. 
Yeah, it be open to healing information. It's a lot of inner work I'm feeling that needs to be done. Um, you may be healers too as well. So you got to be careful sometimes with your energy. Protect your energy is what I just heard because um, you may be taking on other people's stuff. Cleanse your energy, medicine guardian. The medicine guardian basically says... Listen to what is coming up within you, what is being shared with you by trustworthy people in your life. Pay attention to healing information too as well. So you're being exposed to information and insight that will have a dramatic healing effect upon your life. If you're working through something mentally or emotionally, know that there are spiritual energies supporting your healing. And remember I was saying, I'm like, yo, it's a lot of anxiety, it's a lot of worry, it's a lot of stress, whatever. You may be depressed, having a lot of dark thoughts, whatever it is, you got some help here okay you got some help here if even if you're having physical challenges you got some help here so pay a, um particular attention to information that's coming to you that feels inspired insightful and warm it will be supportive of your wellness your angels are here to remind you that your natural state is one of wholeness and you are on the road to revealing that wholeness once more all right so hopefully that helps you out for this week and then maybe next week hopefully y'all can tap back in and see what's going on with y'all but in the meantime here focus on making a commitment to yourself at this point all right i'm taurus i love you guys don't forget to hit the like button peace